How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Key Croc by Hack5. This thing is amazing. It is a really really cool uh, key logger. Um, this thing does a lot more than log keys and we'll get into that in future videos. But we just want to introduce you to the device today so you can be a little bit familiar with it and understand what its capabilities are. Okay? So let's just talk about it first of all. So it's very very plain. And that's on purpose, right? So generally, if you're doing key logging, you're going to implant this on somebody's computer. And uh, you really don't want them to realize what's going on. So it just looks like a black box. Very basic, right? Almost like it's just an adapter even. So, or an extension, you could say. A short, tiny extension. So what's on this thing is not that much, right? So you have USB male connection over here. You have a USB female connection over here. Um, on the top, there is a little LED indicator, which once this thing is implanted is, is off, but it does have a lot of features and functionality to let you know what's going on on the device when you're doing development and other things. So if we flip it over on the back, um, the only thing you're going to have here is a little tiny hole, okay? And this little hole has a button in it, and if you have a SIM tool like this, Motorola SIM tool or paperclip or whatever, you can use this button, you can hear it clicking hopefully, it's got a nice click to it and um, you're going to use that button to put this device into arming mode okay that's that's what you do with it and when it's in arming mode that's when you're exfiltrating data off of the device so you're going to hear a lot of terms um, when we're talking about these kind of tools like exfiltration loot payloads and we're going to get into all that stuff because it's going to be kind of a fun little section here on on, uh, on the site here on YouTube um, but we're going to talk about all that in future videos so this is just that introduction. So now you see a get a feel for this device. Now, how do you deploy this thing, right? This is very, very simple. I'm going to take my USB cable here from this keyboard right in front of me. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to plug in the uh, cable right there. Okay. And then from here, this is just an extended hub to my main back of my computer. But this way you guys can see what's happening. And you're going to go ahead and plug in this guy. I'm going to try to keep it so you can see it. So now you see it's got an LED. This is just showing you the boot sequence of this device. And once it's fully booted up, um, what you're going to see is no LED. Okay? And, and that means that the device is fully booted up and ready to rock and roll and ready to do some key logging. Which is all you want to do anyway, right? Well, until we get into some more in-depth features. So there you go. The device is fully booted up. If you get a device like this that... Um, looks like this okay that means the keyboard is not plugged in white LED keyboard not plugged in and I'm gonna plug it back in there we go and now the keyboard is in the best thing about this that's also cool is that this thing actually mimics the ID of this exact keyboard and so the computer sees this USB device plugged in as this keyboard as this HID device human interface device um, so this thing's pretty sleek and pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you can do with it on the computer because really that's where you're going to see the uh, beauty of what the key croc can do. Alright, so here we are on the computer and I just opened up a Word document so that I can do some typing, right? So just something like, how are you today, son, period, right? Or, you know, subscribe. To my channel okay right so you can do things like that or maybe you want to put in um, a, a password right so let's just say right real basic password for something all right so now these things have all been logged in the key croc okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that thing into army mode and then we're gonna go look at our logs it's, it's pretty pretty simple right so right now, you can see that I have a couple things plugged into this device, but um, no key croc. Okay, so what I'm going to do is flip this thing over like you saw, put, push that arming mode button, hold it for two or three seconds, and then release it. And the device has now entered uh, arming mode, which basically means it shows up here under your uh, C drive as a device. Okay, so now we can click on this guy, 
and we can go into and this is our folder structure for for the device and this is what you're always going to see so now we're going to go into loot and then here you go you got all kinds of fun little stuff in here so there's a couple of things you can look at these are the main three right here matches which which is going to be later when you use payloads raw log if you want to see the exact buttons pressed or character log and probably character log is going to be more like up our alley so let's go ahead and click that guy and then we're going to bring this thing over okay there you go that is the log that we typed okay you can even see where i typed backspaces <laughs> um right alt and you know alt enter shift welcome i mean it's all right here okay right there is the exact log of exactly what i typed in our notepad file including bank spaces and space uh, all that stuff it's right there periods it's it's all here okay so that is the basic function of using the key croc it's very um, simple to use and uh, it's just a lot a lot of fun um, if you're just looking for straight key logging plug and play this thing's ready to rock and roll okay the last thing I want to tell you about the key crack before we wrap up this video is once you get in arming road it is always very critical for things to sync correctly on this device because technically the key logger is a full Linux machine which is why it makes it really fun and why future videos are going to be really cool but you need to go ahead and right click and do an eject um, and and actually eject it now probably it's because I got this file open so let's try again you always need to remove the key crack in this method and then unplug it from your computer so that you safely shut down the Linux operating system enough to not hurt anything because it shares this um, file system with the operating system and it's, it's kind of technical so you got to make sure you do that but guys that is going to wrap it up for this little video intro on the key croc what an amazing device um, stay tuned for more videos on it we're going to get into some cool things and we'll catch you in the next one root junkie out